Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to do the very last Christmas DIY of 2018. I'm going to show you guys how to make this Dollar Tree Christmas carousel. If this is your first time here, my name is Araceli. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my channel. I do a ton of DIYs. That's not all my channel is about though. Uh, other than the DIYs, a lot of cleaning videos, day in the life videos, time with my family, cooking videos, vlogs, etc. So if you guys are interested in that, I would appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. For this DIY, I did recycle a lot of stuff. I am using this Lazy Susan from the Dollar Tree that I actually took off from a different DIY that I made. Uh, as you can see, there's a mirror on it that's attached. Um, you don't have to have the mirror, but I also have these two silver trays and then also some of these tall shot glasses. I'm, gonna, I'm only going to need two of these. And then also just some little sleighs. I ended up not really using these, but you'll see why. Um, also two of these sparkly reindeer and then two of these white ones and then I also use some of these little trees. One other thing is that I use some of these wooden skewers that I spray painted to silver. And then also some LED string lights. You can use as many as you want. I only used one set. So again, I, this was a recycled DIY. Um, I, you don't have to have the mirror, but I kind of like it because it gave it a little bit of height. So what I did is I just took some of my hot glue, put it all around the top, and then I glued one of the plates or the trays over it, but I did it upside down if you can see that. And then I took the tip of my hot glue gun and on the second tray I made a hole right in the center of it and that's where I'm going to string my lights through. The second tray is going to be the right side up, so I'm stringing them through the top towards the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and start stringing those through the shot glasses, but first I'm going to go ahead and take my hot glue gun again and with the tip make the hole at the bottom of the shot glass. Once I string the lights through the shot glasses, I'm going to go ahead and glue both of the bottom ends together and then carefully to not get the wire in between. And then after that, I'm going to put hot glue on the top of the shot glass that's going to go to the bottom, if that makes sense. So there's nothing coming out the other end and that part's going to be glued to the bottom tray. So I'm going to start pulling the lights all the way through until only the plastic part is sticking out at the top on the top of the tray. You could leave them where they're at and just kind of string them around on the top tray, but I wanted them to shine down onto the carousel. So I'm just putting my hot glue on top of the shot glass and then pressing it down, just carefully pulling the lights all the way through. Um, you'll see what I mean. You know when you have a vision and you just can't get it right? Well, I messed with the layout of this carousel so many times that I got completely sick of it and I literally left it on that tabletop for like three weeks or longer, I think. Uh, my idea was to make it look like an actual carousel, you know, where the, the horse kind of go up and down. So I took the skewers, cut them to size, and then I glued them to the top of the reindeer. And so what I did was just kind of lean it onto the antlers and I did glue it right in between the antlers so that it didn't move. But as far as getting it to look like they were going up and down, it was just an impossible task and I'll show you what I mean. So I did try to put hot glue on the top of the skewer and then glued it to the top of the base, but it was just too heavy and it wouldn't sit still. So then I put the skewer at the bottom and it was just kind of flimsy and I didn't want it falling over. So all I did was just stick the skewer at the top of the reindeer and I just glued the reindeer feet down onto the base. So you guys will see what I mean.
The bigger reindeer, I just put some hot glue on the feet that are going to be touching the tray and I just glued them down. As you can see, I did glue down this little sleigh because you know how in some carousels they have benches that you can sit on? I kind of wanted to give it that look, but after that, I thought it looked kind of small in comparison to the reindeer, so it just kind of threw me off and I didn't like it how it didn't look even. And then I also did glue these little trees around the shot glasses. And so, um, you can't see it here, but after I glued down these sparkly reindeer, I did take off that sleigh from the other side, and I glued another one of the white reindeer. Actually, you know what? Looking at it now, I do like how the sleigh looks. Dang it! <laughs> but I did take this little um, ribbon thing, or the bow, from the sleigh, and I glued it onto the reindeer just to give it a little extra pop of color. And again, I messed with it so many times. I tried to put the garland around it and then I put a wreath at the top to give it some color and I think I was just staring at it too long I didn't even like the way it looked so I'm gonna give you guys different options to how you can do it and you know to see how you guys would like it so here you see it with some garland and then I added the little sleigh and a couple of the trees to the top which I actually really like this look but then I also for a bigger scale added the wreath garland and then this little DIY Christmas tree that I had done on a different video and I actually kind of like how this one looks too but it might be just a little big for my taste either way you guys go about it if you do try this DIY out I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I appreciate you guys sticking around and being so patient I know it's taken me a long time so finally this is the last Christmas DIY of 2018 thank you guys so much for joining me today if you like this video make sure you leave me a thumbs up Leave me any comments down below and don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I hope each and every one of you has a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and I will see you guys in 2019. Maybe sooner.